This conference will now be recorded. Hi, good morning. I will start the session now. The last session discussed about the, how to work with the Git and GitHub. Now today we are going to see another important concept called Cucumber Framework. Now, this is one of the automation testers point of view. Cucumber Framework is the where they are going to ask an interview about Cucumber Framework. Before going to start Cucumber Framework, there's another approach is called TDD Framework. So TDD Framework is nothing but test-driven development framework. Test-driven development framework. Whichever we followed so far, this all comes under test driven framework concept. These all things, whatever the concepts we discuss for frameworks, test driven development can be test ng framework or model of framework, these things. But actually, how it is going to be test driven development, mainly developers' perspective, we are going to say it is test driven development framework. So developers, well, coding when they are going to do. So this type of concept they are going to follow. So it is a software development approach, tested driven development framework. Mainly, it is comes under software development approach. Here, first developer writes test cases, then run those test cases. Test cases are written, and they are going to execute the test cases without have the code will it going to pass or fail definitely going to fails here first developers write test cases then run those test cases they failed because development code is not at written okay this is the after that what they are going to next developer will write the code of any one module for which test cases are already defined then run test cases. If those test cases are passed, means code is correct. This is the test driven development framework approach. So let me clear one thing here. When you see write test cases means majority of the students are going to fit manual test cases. Here, not the manual test cases. Test cases means nothing but a test scripts. Test scripts again here, at test annotation methods at test and test methods are nothing we are going to call test cases we are going to see okay let me explain this concept now i have the module here so i want to go for the code development way i think it is so developer need to write some code to develop the login module Okay, login model they want to develop. Now, how the approach test driven development framework, how they are going to do. So let me take one test ng framework, test ng project is required. We have a lot of projects here. Okay. Here already I created test ng project that I am going to take. In this SRC folder, sample to package, I am going to create the one class I want to create in sample to practice. A general class it is like parent class I want to create. I'm giving the base class. Finish. In this base class, I want to develop the different transaction related code. So I'm going to use it public wide. So login module. But this module has to return something once code is developed. I'm going to say string. But here I return I'm testing, I want to pass, return, like this. Now, I will go for the test case I'm creating. This is a 
एस्ट्रेंजिक क्लास एप्लीकेशन मॉड्यूल्स क्लिक ऑन फिनिश here i am going to create the one method public wide application status now here what are the methods i am going to create here i want to call here so for that base class pc equal to new base class then vc dot so any method i created there login module i'm going to call it this so let us some value login status it is a string value now here what i am going to say if or uh, i want to go for the at test annotation here validation related so what i am going to do here asset dot equals asset equal actual what is the actual here i'm going to get login status login module construction completed so what i want to do here this is the test case i created so i want to go for the login mode construction so is it that method is written the login mode construction completed status my test is passed but if i run is it going to pass no if i run this one no why it won't pass because this model not at coding is not at completed next it will fails this is the test driven first we develop the right test case because test ng framework is going to be developed also for unit testing purpose right that is the way it is first develop right test cases then run those test cases they failed because development code is not written yet next develop right code of any module for which test cases are already defined right test case and run it failed now put enough code to pass it now what i am going to do now the pr is going to sit and they are going to write code for this login module now just i am not going to write that much code just i am going to say simple system out dot printl login module construction completed now it has to return the some messages if successful completed login mode construction completed message it has to pass it has to return okay so now return login mode construction completed now i am going to this test case again save and run it is now it is going to pass or fail now it is saying is application status pass okay so this is the now developer has to work more more code they are going to so write a test case and run it put enough code to pass it the base class they are going to do this one then put enough code to pass it pass still they have to do some enhancement in the code refactor run test case for the pass or fail to check it is so like this we are going to do the test driven development approach okay now same thing now we have the
BDD. TDD is one kind of this is the approach. BDD behavior driven development. BDD stands for behavior development driven development. It is also a software development methodology. Application or automation framework is designed by describe how its behavior should appear to external user and user point of how application need to respond based on that the framework is defined. Application actual user, the end user point of view. Here first stakeholder define the behavior of the application in a simple English kind of language called Gherkin. What they expect to see from the application. This kind of information we are going to provide in future file. Based on this feature file, all coding efforts, developers or automation testers apply to deliver this desired behavior in user stories. So here, BDD, TDD, the two approaches. Now, understand here. Automation means one of the tool we can use selenium in the selenium we can use any language java ruby python similar so automation means we can go for selenium selenium means we can go for the automation scripting language you can use java or python like that same way for bdd framework also some tools are available one of the tools which are going to use cucumber. In this cucumber, we are going to use the language called Gherkin. Gherkin language are going to use. The hierarchy is automation, example, Selenium. PDD framework, example, cucumber. So in Selenium, we use Java. In cucumber, we use Gherkin language are going to use. Some annotations are available in Gherkin language. Okay. Now, how it is going to be? Very simple. It is Cucumber or BDD framework. Cucumber is a framework which is used for implementing BDD. In BDD, automation programs are created. Automation testers to how we are going to create means based on the behavior of the application with test data. How application need to respond same way we followed previously also but directly we go for the automation scenarios are going down but in bdd framework not directly the scenarios based we have to refer the feature file one file we are going to use that file we are going to use to prepare the automation test scripts in bdd automation programs are created based on the behavior of the application with the test data the cucumber was initially implemented with Ruby. Later, it was extended to work on Java and C Sharp. In Cucumber framework, we work on three components. Three components are one is feature file, other one is step definition class, third one is test runner class. First one, understand feature file. This file contains test scenarios. These scenarios can be understandable by a non-technical person. But the language which are going to use in that feature file is Gherkin language we are going to use. That is simple, plain English it is. Okay. The step definition class. Here we create automation test script using WebDriver and Java. So then test runner class, it is a test engine class where we execute the those test those classes, which are classes are created in the step definition. Those classes using test engine.xml file. This is what the approach we are going to follow here. Let us understand my code. 
three components one two three now let us assume that this is the picture file step definition test and class so the feature files are going to maintain in a folder called feature step definition class it is class class 1 Like this, you can have the set of classes. These are in one package. Test engine classes generally what we are going to call test cases. Right. This also in another package we are going to make. I guess two. Now here we have the approach feature. In that scenario so for which is scenario purpose what are the operations to perform in simple plain english they are going to write suppose example like this simple example showing that Scenario means I add two numbers given I have entered 50 into the calculator. Now, what we have to do here based on this, we need to create the one method for this. For the scenario, one in this class, create the method method to perform transaction as per scenario in future file so here which language are going to use here we are going to use the combination of our selenium plus java language are going to use okay here which language we used here so gherkin language we used okay like this we can have the multiple feature files will be available multiple scenarios will be available in one file also like that so you have the multiple classes here now what we have to do next here so here we are going to create the script read the feature so according to that, go to this step definition class execute the method and provide the reports the output has to give the report for us this is the concept of the so cucumber framework it is but what is the major intention here feature file non it person also able to understood and you can specify it that is a stakeholder who is going to define the feature file it is i will show uh, example an example how we can do this concept okay now feature file so step definition okay cucumber used its own language called gherkin this works on certain annotations some annotations feature this represent the module or functionality that is under test a scenario here this represent the test case that is being automated in a particular feature one feature can have the multiple scenarios Generally, the title of the test case is given as a scenario. Example here given. What is given representing that this annotation? This represents the precondition of the test case. When this represents the exact action that is performed in the test case. And this represents any additional actions that performed. I enter value and I click on the 
plus and I click on the 50 then the operation multiple operations then some value should be displayed that is then expected okay like this this represent the precondition of the test case when this represent the exact action to be performed and the represent the any additional actions to be performed then this represent the outcome of the test case suppose when i click on the reset button no and is required then then expecting data should be clear in the page like this the exam which addition scenario add two numbers given i have entered 50 and i have entered 70 then i press add Yeah. I press add button and I have entered 70 then I press equal then what is the expectation here the result should be 120 in the screen this is the way how the gherkin language this is the gherkin language is like this but these are the annotations are going to be given and and no colon anything is here just you have to write like this okay so what is the approach are going to flow in this kind of framework first we are going to create the sample maven project we are going to customize the maven project structure so a lot of components are going to find this project structure where we are going to customize then create a feature file create feature file step definition class and a creating test runner class then run test runner class so we'll see that automating simple example i will going to take automate login functionality in mercury tools application using cucumber framework so how to do it is so here cucumber related just we can import like test ng you are going to install no plugins for the eclipse like that we can do instead of that directly using the form.xml file using the form.xml file we can provide the all the required dependencies cucumber dependency jars also are going to provide so to simplify this one instead of downloading because several files we have download for the cucumber instead of that i return the code in the page object model so sorry project object model xml file in maven project so where we can write the code to import the required dependencies okay so i given here 13 steps are very simple just you have to follow to understand First step, I want to create the Maven project. Let me create the new Maven project. How to create it is a right click, new, go for the project. Maven, expand this Maven, select the Maven project, click on next. Create a simple project, select this one, click on next. Then a group ID, nothing but a package name. We can give some name. Oh, org dot rnhrm.com. Like this. Then artifact ID is project name. Sample Maven 2, I give one. Click on finish. There's a sample Maven 02. Simon, still it is downloading here. Now, if I expand this one, a lot of project structure are going to get. You have to customize this one. So, this all things SRC main Java, SRC resources, SRC test, SRC test Java, test resources, including source code, SRC folder. 
this all the five folder first we have to delete step two i said that delete following folders in a maven project structure src main java src main resources src test java src test resources src now i'm going to delete those things right click select those things right click go for delete now i have this thing next step step three create src folder that is source folder i want to create how to create folders you know the how to create so select the project right click new if you go for the folder it is normal folder general folder now source code folder you have the source folder give the name as src click on finish src created create another folder under maven project features why i want to maintain the this features files so for that i need to go for the features folder i want to create select the sample project right click new go for the folder give the name called features finish Create the future file in the features folder. So already we know that properties file, hug 4 j properties file, configuration properties file. What is the extension for those two files? Put dot properties. Similar way, here also I want to create the future file. But this future file extension is dot future. So dot future this is the extension. Now I want to create the future file with the name as Mercury login dot future. So how I can go for this, go to this features, right click, new file, give the file name here. Any name we can give, but extension should be dot future. Click on finish. When I click on finish the file will be created by default shows some error. why you created a feature this is the concept related to the cucumber framework where cucumber related jars are not yet available right this is showing the error for us now what i need to do i need to provide the required dependencies right next Provide the required dependencies and plugins in form.xml file. If you observe that Maven class, which I given to you, how we can go into import the WebDriver jars, TestNG jars, Apache Poi jars using the form.xml file, same concept we have to do. So here, dependencies use it to download a jars like WebDriver jars, TestNG jars, Cucumber jars, Apache Poi, etc. Plugins use it to run your Maven project. Maven compile plugin, Maven surfer plugin. So, how to go for the code? So, you have to go for the MVN repository. Each one you have to take from there. So, that code already I prepared here. Just you need to copy this code. You can maintain this code in your company also. Whatever I give you, maintain you can use it. Is no one is going to ask you to write this entire thing. Okay, depends a lot of files are in the which makes difficulty to such where current compared versions are available. That's the reason I'm doing this one generic. So, form XML file you can go in this one, anywhere you can use this form code. Go to form.xml. After this version, click. So then paste the code which you copied from the my notebook. Okay, now save it is.
a small remnant is going to be text. Now if you go, now if you go tools, feature file, save. Now we have to write something about the what transaction you want to do. So write the following statements in feature file. Here I used one annotation at EAT feature. EAT testing, EAT testing it. Another feature is Mercury tools login validation. See what scenario here. See, there's no error now. Preview validation feature Mercury tools login validation. Scenario login validation to valid data. Given initialized browser when user login, then successful login operation like this now save it is now these are the steps we got here the steps are good now what we have to do as for that we have to go for the step definition class we have to convert those steps into the automation using selenium java right for that, I'm going to create the two packages here in SRC folder. One is for the step definition classes, other one is test runner classes. This class is to maintain one package. This class to maintain one package. I want to go. I will try to take the same names for easy to work. You can take any names. The new practice. Click on finish. Now I go for another package here. Copy. Select this SRC. Right click. New package. Finish. Like this, okay, close this things. After this, I need to go for the create class in combat step definition package. The class name I want to give Mercutus login. No main method. Right click new class the class name so no public static word may also not like no main method click on finish it is like a parent class here we have to create the automation script create script in step definition package class mercutus login by importing this all the things first two method i'm going to show to you here Now, sim public static web driver driver so because different methods i want to use the same driver capability so i use it here web driver driver import it given umber now chrome driver now try to understand my here In this feature file given initialize browser to do the transaction script here on method but remember how the link is going to be taken how it knows that means when you go to the feature file it go to the your step definition class and going to search here whatever is there browser that is there or not given matching or not which method is matching but we have to prefix with the cap Okay, we had a previous gap and suffix with the dollar at a given annotation. So this is the way. Okay. Remaining also I'm going to give. Like this is Selenium script only, right? Selenium JavaScript only.
when user login. A lot of things are the import when we have to go. By is there we have to import it. Then report dot log like this. So already my test case the scripts are ready to do the operation application. Now I need to provide the link here for the feature file to the my step definition class from test cases. I need to go. There's a create class in Comra test runner package with the name as test runner. Here I'm going to create the one class for us. Right click new. Click on finish. The test engine class no main method here also. Then write the following code in test runner class. So what I will do, so whatever I have here, everything I'm going to copy paste there. I will explain my step by step, don't worry here. So these are the annotations, set cucumber option. So features from where it has to take in current project working directory features. Now, suppose you may change the folder name here you give us some other name, try to maintain the same name here. So the package name where Bloom is step definition classes with available. So what I intend tags. So one future file can have the multiple scenarios. Which tag is given the tag name it is. The future file may have the UIT testing. The tag it is. Okay. Now plugin pretty HTM target site cucumber pretty. So now here, JSON target cucumber JSON. Now, what is this plugin here says that? So, where you want to create the reports, reports are going to be created in target folder in this project. Right. Then, public class test runner class is started here. Before class, we have to specify this code. Okay. That is the established relation which is future files from where it has to go for step definition which future or scenarios we need to consider then private because every class it should be independent private test ng kumar runner object created before class always run it has to execute so initialize the this class like log 4j properties and log class we created individual similar way here test ng cucumber runner this dot get class means in this class it has to execute data provider features if any feature file if we have data provider section that is the data provider features data if you want to hear actual scenario it is not required if required you can establish the relation like this run cucumber cucumber feature dot get cucumber features then after class tear down class test ng cucumber under dot finish but here so this is the at test annotation method so here it's going to run the cucumber feature okay feature files are going to be executed to you when you go for this one cucumber feature wrapper Cucumber feature is going to run the your feature file based on that going to execute your methods which are given in the step definition class. Okay, so once you've done this one, try to run it is how to run it is test ng class. Maybe you have the multiple test ng class are there as a suit. I want to execute now. We have to create the suit file. How to create the suit file for this test runner? select the multiple class are the go for the package select the package right click test ng go for the convert to test ng it shows the file name by default going to test ng. you are not interested you can give your interested name and it's saying the suit name test name class which is only one class is the class showing that click on 
now this is a test ng now create test ng xml file for test runner class now that's it now you have to run it is how to run this test ng xml file select the test ng xml file right click now run as test ng suit this is the one kind of approach which you have to go for the test runner class is showing some error where it is the problem okay package is missing here which package i have it is com dot test runner <coughs> save it is still is showing some error try to refresh Only here it's showing. Update the project. Okay. Now there is no error. It is. Now go for test and XML file. Go for the NAS test and Feature it is which is running, it's showing the make to login validation. This is about the Cucumber framework, how it is test driven development under Cucumber framework. How it is Cucumber framework and BD actually. For that, we are going to use the Cucumber concept as a class.